It's a very intimate experience. And some of you do sessions online, some of you do sessions one-on-one. -on -one. I want to do an exercise with you that uh, helps to kind of slow everything down and uh, understand what, what, what's really happening in reality. So we're going to do a little exercise. If you have notes, you can put your papers down. And you're going to find uh, one person who's going to be your partner. This exercise definitely does not work with three people. Take a deep breath in. If you are doing this online, you can do this with a mirror. I'm going to ask you, look at your partner without saying anything, eye to eye, for five seconds. <laughs> take a breath in. And just take a moment with yourself to repeat the history of what you were experiencing in those five seconds. Yes? You... Okay, good. Take a breath in and do the exercise one more time. This time you're going to do it for 10 seconds, but try to watch your breathing while you're doing this. Just watch your breath and just look at the person and breathe. Breathe. Right? Not so easy to do. <laughs> Take a breath in. Just shake it out a bit. And one more time. Ten seconds. Just breathe in. Be with them. Notice something you... Something nice about the person. Go ahead. All right, and then just turn to your partner and share with them what was going on for you. <laughs> so the purpose of this exercise is, you know, our, our brain is firing off millions of messages every second. Millions, every second. I'm standing up here, I'm noticing colors, and I'm noticing sounds, and... Our that bio computer does that all by itself, all the time. But sometimes, the voice inside our head, you know about the voice inside your head? <laughs> so, Try not to listen. <laughs> I want to tell you something that you may or may not know. That voice inside your head isn't you. You know how I know that? because you're the one who's listening to the voice. <laughs> Do you ever wonder, like, where's that voice coming from? <laughs> Who is that voice? You know what I'm talking about? So it would be good, especially if you're a health coach, to be able to get a grip on that voice so that who's in control of you and your life and your future is you and not the voice. Make sense so far? So this exercise in five or ten seconds shows you the extent that that voice is going on or the extent that you can turn down the volume. It's just like a radio. You just turn down the volume because it's too loud. So we're going to do the exercise again. And the voice in your head, you're just going to, if you find your voice coming, you know, that radio station is back on again, you 
consciously as you're looking, turn the knob to turn down the volume so that you can be present without the voice. And you're just watching your breath. Do it with me. It's a little, use your nostrils. It's a little cooler coming in and a little warmer when you exhale. You feel that? So turn back to your partner 10 seconds again. Turn down the volume. And then just share with your partner what that was like. How was that? Anyone? Something you can share about the exercise? Anyone? Yep. Oh. We'll do both. Thank you. Sure. Just stand up. Should I stand up? Okay. Turn around. Actually, something interesting that we both discovered, we were both very present to one another, and from the first time that we practiced this, we weren't really thinking very much, which was nice, but then I turned to her and I said, all right, this might sound a little weird, but I did think this is something that people should try with their boyfriend or girlfriend or husband or wife. Because a lot of the time, people, if you're in a couple, you might do things and not talk, or, you know, you talk to each other. But not very often do you just look at each other in silence, even for 10 seconds. So we said maybe that's something you can do with your clients, to tell them to go home and try that with maybe a loved one. Definitely. Significant other. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, along the same vein, when I was working with clients, and it's an hour session or 50-minute session, Often the most valuable moment of the 50 minutes was, I would say, okay, we're just going to take a minute, 60 seconds. I would often start with 10, where we're just going to sit together and breathe. How do I know it was the most valuable? Because at the end, when they would finish, they would say, I would say, well, what did you enjoy about the six-month program? They'd say, you know, that minute that we would just... <laughs> I don't know what, what you were doing, which was nothing, but that, that really changed my life. So why does that change a person's life is because that moment of not doing anything, which some people call meditation, but it's like an overly formal term for what's happening, that moment is allowing the biocomputer to uh, reboot itself and to reconnect all the things that are disconnected. You know when you have to reboot your computer? I never turn off my computer. Every month or two, I'm like, oh, I gotta reboot this thing now. And can you relate? Do you ever, you probably all do, you probably all turn off your computer. <laughs> so when you have a moment and you do this thing, we could call meditation or just call it doing nothing then it reboots. And if you do it with the client, well, number one, it makes your job easier. It's like, well, there's another minute I didn't have to do anything. <laughs> and clients will say that that was something astounding happened, but the astounding thing that happened was that the body was heal itself by itself by giving it half a chance, by doing nothing to allow the mechanism of the biocomputer to do what it does, which no doctor will ever tell you. No registered dietitian is ever going to tell you. This is easy to overlook in its vast simplicity of what it is that we do as health coaches. And so when you have that time to allow them, and yourself, by the way, to reboot, then it's a great moment. Thank you. Fine. Just I'm totally comfortable um, by. I, I have to say that yeah, my husband is a traditional health professional. And I have had my what is, own... What does he do? He's a pulmonologist and an internal medicine practitioner. And so I he's have, a serious he's health He's a serious professional. guy, critical care. And I had on my own weight loss journey, which I have totally had a personal transformation. Can you just tell me about that for a moment? Well... Um, <laughs> I was a martial artist and had an injury, and that caused me to um, not walk for over a year. And I was a professional photographer with my own practice, and I knew that I had to make a change. And during my recovery, I had ballooned and put on close to 65 pounds worth of weight, and I was miserable. And I was, met someone who was a health coach, 
And when I met her, I said, you don't know me, I don't know you, sit your butt next to me. And she did, and I said, I want to become a product of the product of what you do. Share this with me. And she did, and I became educated for the first time in my life about opening my box up to a different way of health and wellness that I had never perceived. Now, my husband noticed not only the weight loss, but the transformation that I was making in my lifestyle and in my home and the choices that I was making. And my husband and his health professionals said, what are you doing? Let's look at this. And the truth is, I, I, I'm so enamored, really, and honored to be able to speak about this because in traditional medicine, the health professionals are so much dealing with sick care. They don't have the time to deal with the well care. And they invited my coach and myself into their traditional medical practice to work with their patients to help them, to coach them, to educate them. So I listened to you, and I could cry about this, but we have, <laughs> you know, I, I have coached personally about 800 people. Um, I have made two, thank you. I, I am so passionate about making a difference in the health and wellness of absolutely every single person that I can meet. And I now have confrontations with my traditional health professional husband, who is very medical, and I know nothing about that piece. And I say, and he said to me the other day, we had this discussion, and today is my birthday, by the way. Aww. So I'm here today. And thank you. And I chose to be here. 35, right? I love you. I love you. Yes. And I said to him that I wanted to be here because... People need us, and you need us. And he said, well, what is a health coach? And I said what you said, that you can sit there and people come in and you can give them the pill or what they need, but what they really need is to be able to look into someone's eyes, as I was with Anna, who I just met and was from Spain. And when you can get to someone's soul and you can inspire them, you're so right that that's what it takes to get them to trust enough in you to help them show another way and give them an alternative. And with Anna, it was so awesome because she had told me that she had been in your program several years ago and has done nothing with it. And in looking in her eyes in silence, what I felt, and we discussed this, was that she really needs to help people, and she doesn't know how to get started. And that's what the silence did, to be able to look at her, and I saw that. So we're going to talk. <laughs> did, did you notice when you were looking at the other person that you could tell in great depth about that person. How many of you noticed that? Just raise your hand. This is like, you know, when, uh, what's it called, the, the, those movies that are out now with the Marvel, you know, the people with the magic powers? X-Men. This is like, this is like the X-Men, because I know we don't market this on our website, but, how many of you noticed that you would tell, like, it was like an x-ray of their soul? Yes. This is, like, really deep. Yeah. So you want to, you no know, way you want to switch over to trying to be like a doctor or trying to be like a registered dietitian or switch over to multi-level. This is way deeper. And to allow, you, you know, like with Anna, you, you will have trials and tribulations in getting started. And every journey begins with the first step. That's right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Anything else you want to say? Um, for all the health coaches that are starting out there, I started with one person. And Me too. I did. <laughs> and that grew to a very large amount of people. And, 
You know, it's all about what your mission is and that if you can inspire people to make a difference in the health and wellness of their lives, the rest is just going to come. It can't be anything else but that. So I'm, I'm privileged and I'm blessed to be able to be here. And I'm so glad to be a part of the school to further my education and make a difference. People need us. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, please, please let uh, your husband know he's invited to the next conference. <laughs> so part of the eye-gazing exercise is to be able to get a grip on the voice in your head. A lot of times people uh, have feelings that they... that inhibit them from being successful. Yes? And so part of that exercise is if you consider those feelings to... This is a little complicated, so please listen carefully. Sometimes that voice in your head is helpful. It's like, tells me, well, Josh, I know you want to drive faster, but probably better if you stuck to the speed limit. And, but a lot of times it's not. So getting a grip on the voice and having it not control you, but you controlling it is helpful. So another way of doing that is by, um, in any moment, generating feelings to know that you can generate feelings at any point in time. So in the morning when I'm, for example, feeling like, oh, I don't want to get out of bed, I have trained myself to generate feelings to be like, it's a great day ahead. Here we go. <laughs> and so I want to show you, uh, take a moment to show you how you can do that, how you can do that for your clients, and how you can, how fabulous your biocomputer is to switch those things if you develop the desire to have control. So please stand up. <laughs> take a deep breath in. And without anyone looking, just go, ha, 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 Just tickle yourself, go, ha, 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 ha. Stay with me here. Ha, 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 ha,
we feel safe with the people who we love, so we let it out, which is the worst place in the world to do that. So we're going to do the exercise again. You're going to hiss at the person next to you, and you're going to try to not smile. Do that now. Okay. Here we go, one more time, take a breath in and out. How many of you are starting to feel a little uncomfortable? Nobody? Good. So don't, without unleashing it on anyone else. Just take a moment and go. Okay, good. Same thing, just a little louder. Here we go. Okay, good. Same thing, a little louder, but no smile. Now. Let me hear you laugh. Let me hear you laugh. Let me hear you, anger. <laughs> Some of you are holding back. Anger. <laughs> you see how you can switch back and forth? You can, do you, yes? You, it's important to see this because so often people feel like they are at the effect of how they're feeling, not recognizing that through the special operating system that you were born with in your biocomputer, you actually have this program. You know when you have your computer and you find you have this program that was in your computer that you didn't know you had? <laughs> this is that program. <laughs> but it's way bigger than your computer. This is your whole life. So when you find yourself being at the effect of how you're feeling, you can use this program that I'm sharing with you now to switch out from state of mind X to state of mind Y, which will probably be more constructive for you, and to understand that this is a real gift that you can reorganize your and reevaluate how you're being at any given moment in time, which no species can do other than human beings who know about this program. Like your dog can't suddenly say, oh, you, you know that fire hydrant? I'm not going to go pee there. <laughs> and your cat can't say, well, this time when she's opening the can, I'm not going to go run and <laughs> beg for cat food. But human beings have a capacity to, at any second in time, like now, I can just decide to stop talking. And... I want you to be able to recognize that your biocomputer has this power and that at any second in time you can alter your behavior or recommend to your clients to alter their behavior to a more productive, successful way of viewing things. And that's part of the magic of health coaching, which nobody else has these tools. And I want to clarify for you what they are so you can use them and know that even though they're very simple, they are wonderful. And you just have to take it for a test drive by finding clients for yourself to be able to do that magic with them. All right, great. Please have a seat. <laughs>